But to start with, I'd like to address the rumors right at the beginning. I think it's important that we, we talk about that. This object is a comet. It looks and behaves like a comet and has, and all evidence points to it being a comet. But this came from outside the solar system, which makes it fascinating, exciting, and scientifically very important. The Dry Atlas looks like a fuzzy white ball. That ball is a cloud of dust and ice called the coma which is shed by the comet as it continues its trajectory. 3i Atlas, as you heard, is the third known interstellar object to pass through our solar system, the first one being identified in 2017. While these types of interstellar objects have long been predicted, we are just beginning to be able to find them thanks to the newest technologies with our network of Earth-based telescopes, which are designed to find small, fast-moving objects in space. Individual exposures that were taken on September 16th. Lucy is on its way to study asteroids that share Jupiter's orbit around the sun, called the Trojan asteroids. Lucy was 240 million miles away from 3i Atlas, which is circled in the center, when its high-resolution LORI camera caught the... Right away, of course, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office established, they studied it, and they established that 3i Atlas is not a danger to Earth. There is circumstantial evidence, given how fast it has come in, to, uh, to our solar system that uh, it came from some very old population, some ve a solar system uh, around a very old star. Quite possibly, we can't say this for sure, but the likelihood is uh, it came from a solar system older than our own solar system itself, which uh, gives me goosebumps to think about, frankly, because that means the 3i Atlas is, is not just a window into another solar system. It's a window into the deep past, and so deep in the past that it predates even the formation of our Earth and our Sun. Uh, Amit kind of rolled that out um, at the beginning. So